Family TV Mass is offered by Achievers Fuel and Service Center Corporation and La Pue Drug Incorporated.
Blessed Sunday, dear brothers and sisters. We welcome everyone as we celebrate the holy sacrifice of the Mass, the 20th Sunday in ordinary time with the theme, God's love knows no bounds. The Mission Communications Foundation Incorporated of the Society of the Divine Word, SVD, together with St. Jude Catholic School, brings to you this Eucharistic celebration at the Father Peter Young SVD Auditorium, St. Jude Catholic School, Icasa Street, San Miguel, Manila. Our concelebrated Mass will be presided by Reverend Father Roland U. Aquino, SVD, School Director of St. Jude Catholic School. And as one community and family gathered in Christ, let us all stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. As we prepare to celebrate the Eucharist, let us call to mind what makes us unworthy to participate in it, especially our failure to live the commandment of universal love preached by Christ.
You have revealed the love of God for all human beings. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call all peoples to conversion. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have prepared for those who love you good things, which no eye can see, fill our hearts, we pray, with the warmth of your love, so that loving you in all things and above all things, we may attain your promises, which surpass every human desire. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Let us sit and listen to the Word of God. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, observe what is right, do what is just, for my salvation is about to come. My justice about to be revealed. The foreigners who joined themselves to the Lord, ministering to Him, loving the name of the Lord and becoming His servants, all who keep the Sabbath free from profanation and hold to my covenant, them I will bring to my holy mountain and make joyful in my house of prayer. Their burnt offerings and sacrifices will be acceptable on my altar, for my house shall be called a house of prayer for all peoples. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. May God have pity on us and bless us. May he let his face shine upon us. So may your way be known upon earth, among all nations, 
your salvation response. May the nations be glad and exult, because you rule the peoples in equity, the nations on the earth you guide. Response. May the peoples praise you, O God. May all the peoples praise you. May God bless us, and may all the ends of the earth fear him. Response. O God, let all the nations praise you. O God, let all the nations praise you. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, I am speaking to you, Gentiles, inasmuch as I am the apostle to the Gentiles, I glory in my ministry in order to make my race jealous and thus save some of them. For if their rejection is the reconciliation of the world, what, what will their acceptance be but lie from the dead? For the gifts and the call of God are irrevocable, just as you once disobeyed God, but have now received mercy because of their disobedience. So they have now disobeyed in order that by virtue of the mercy shown to you, they too may now receive mercy. For God delivered all to disobedience that he might have mercy upon all. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand to honor the Holy Gospel. Jesus proclaimed the gospel of the kingdom and cured every disease among the people. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to, to you, you, O Lord. Lord. At that time, Jesus withdrew to the region of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a Canaanite woman of that district came and called out, Have pity on me, Lord, son of David. My daughter is tormented by a demon. But Jesus did not say a word in answer to her. Jesus' disciples came and asked him, Send her away, for she keeps calling out after us. He said in reply, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But the woman came and did Jesus' homage, saying, Lord, help me. He said in reply, It is not right to take the food of the children and threw it to the dogs. She said, Please, Lord, for even the dogs 
eat the scraps that fall from the table of their masters. Then Jesus said to her in reply, O woman, great is your faith, let it be done for you as you wish. And the woman's daughter was healed from that hour. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated for the homily. It is good to take to our hearts the lesson we learn in the gospel today. Love melts down even the hardest walls of division. Love melts down even the hardest walls of division. And mothers have proven this right. Here in the gospel, a woman, a mother, very desperate because of her beloved daughter who is sick, when all remedies proven helpless, she took the last chance to seek help to this stranger, Jesus. A stranger, a Canaanite woman, hostile enemy of the Jews. He does not belong to the chosen people. And so the natural reaction of the apostles is, Lord, send her away. Or else she keeps calling out on us, send her away. And for Jesus, that seems to be the correct remedy. It is not proper to throw to the dogs the food meant for the children of Israel. But you see the response of the mother, Lord, even the dogs eat the scraps that fall from the master's table. What a mother, what a good woman. And perhaps the disciples and even the listeners missed something that God would never miss. And this should have melted the heart of God. She was kneeling. She was begging. She had come from the most desperate case of a daughter with love. She was a good woman a stranger, but a mother. And she never lose sight of her pure intention for the good of the daughter. As we celebrate today the launching of the school's 60th year, we as a Judenite family have a similar story to tell. 
similar to that of the loving mother in the gospel today. And truly, a love that knows no bounds. When the Society of the Divine Word, or the SVD, sent St. Joseph Reinademitz, the first SVD missionary sent to China in 1881, this stranger missionary from Europe was able to penetrate into the hearts of the Chinese people by reaching out to them in love, no more, no less. With the life preciously shared in his mission, he could only exclaim upon his death later, I love the Chinese and I want to die a Chinese, even in heaven. St. Joseph Reinademitz inspired our founding Chinese missionaries, Father Peter Young, Father or Monsignor Peter Chow, and the other founding SBD missionaries, with the same mission that has melted the heart of God, making St. Jude Catholic School what it is now, a premier Chinese Filipino school that has built upon the foundation of rigorous discipline and unique excellence. We should not, dear Judahite family, miss out this thing, that as we celebrate our 60 years of existence, what God has found in this Chinese stranger with extraordinary love should be celebrated, reckoned with pride, and it becomes the recovery value that we are now. Father Young was a good missionary. He brought nothing from China but pure love for the mission, kneeling to God every day, begging God to help him. And we have the beautiful mission legacy of St. Jude Catholic School. He was a man of great love. He cared for every member of the Judenite family. And we can never forget the words coming out from the heart of the loving missionary. Take care of the children, and I'll take care of you. He has the purest of all intentions to form the children of the Chinese Filipino community in and around Metro Manila into becoming good Christians. So for us, with Saint the Deus given as our patron, we build in this home, big dreams. We build together in this home, big future. But like St. Joseph Reinademitz, like Father Young, if we hold closest to our hearts the face of Jesus, everything becomes possible. Amen. We all stand and profess our faith. I believe in one God. 
the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only, the only begotten Son of, Son of God, born of the Father before all ages. God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten that made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose, again and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We constantly challenged ourselves to mirror God's love for all, making this universal love the inspiration of our prayer. Let us address our petitions to the one who is the father of us all, and we say, we beseech you, Lord, hear us. We beseech you, Lord, hear us. For the church, God's family on earth, may she appreciate all cultures and keep herself open to receive their contribution to purify and enrich them with the divine wisdom of the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. We beseech you, Lord, hear us. For the Holy Father, our bishops, and the leaders of all other Christian denominations, may they all be docile to the promptings of the Spirit as he leads all toward an ever greater unity of faith and action. Let us pray to the Lord. We beseech you, Lord, hear us. For our political leaders and all those who hold positions of authority, may they be faithful to their commitment to serve all citizens without discrimination and unfair favoritism. Let us pray to the Lord. We beseech you, Lord, hear us. Para sa parokya at pamilya, naway ating, pam naway ating mapahalagahan ang pakipag-usap handang makinig sa bawat at gawain. Ang ating makakayanan upang tulungan ang, ang mga nangangailangan sunod sa, sunod sa halimbawa ng Panginoon. Let us pray to the Lord. We beseech you, Lord, hear us. Let us pray to the Lord. We beseech you, Lord, hear us. For the family thanksgiving prayer of Malu Agkawili, Maria Cristina Samano, Liwaiwai, Dean and Alvin Mascarado, and Aji and Dwight Alonso and family. Healing for Jean Hara, Edwin and Alexander Agawin Jr., Dennis and Linda Redoblado, and Stella and Gerardo Canlas. Eternal repose of the souls of Segundina, Potenciana, and Vicente Retis Redoblado. We pray. We beseech you, Lord, hear us. Let us pray in silence for our personal intentions and all the intentions offered in this Mass. We pray. We beseech, we beseech you, you Lord, hear us. hear us. Lord God, giver of all good things, 
Give us a heart as loving as yours that we be able to accept, respect, and love everybody as our brother and sister, regardless of social, racial, political, or religious differences, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Pray that my sacrifice and yours may truly become great and acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive our oblation, O Lord, by which it is brought in a glorious exchange that by offering what you have given, we may merit to receive you and your very self through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by his birth he brought renewal to humanity's fallen state. And by his suffering, cancelled out our sins. By his rising from the dead, he has opened the way to eternal life. And by ascending to you, O Father, he has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. <laughs> Let us remain standing with reverence. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Jose Advincula our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, 
with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, especially St. Jude Tadeus, and all the saints, St. Arnold and St. Joseph Renademets, who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. By the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ has said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Brothers and sisters, peace be with you. remain standing with reverence.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. How blessed are we who are called to this heavenly supper. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. And may the body and blood of Jesus bring us always to life everlasting. Amen. Please be seated and prepare ourselves for the receiving of the Holy Communion.
The family is the sanctuary of life, the place of which life, the gift of God, can be properly welcomed and protected against the many attacks to which it is exposed. Please bow our heads as we join the prayer for the unity of the families to be led by Mr. and Mrs. Brenwood Lee and family. God, our Father, loving and merciful, bring together and keep all families in perfect unity of love and mutual support. Infuse in each member the spirit of understanding, forbearance, and affection for each other. Keep quarrels, bitterness, and pettiness far from them and their occasional failures. Install forgiveness and peace. May the mutual love and affection of parents be a source of loving obedience and discipline. May their chastity and fidelity be an inspiration for their children. Instill in children such self-respect that they may respect others, obey their parents, and those in authority, and grow in mature independence and the tender joy of friendship. Make, Make the, the mutual, mutual affection, affection and, and respect of families a sign of Christian, of Christian life, here, here and hereafter, through Christ our Lord and, and Savior. Savior. Amen. Let us give a warm of applause to our family uh, uh, and parents. <laughs> the brothers and sisters, uh, and Father Bells and Luis, and uh, I'm the executive producer of uh, the uh, SVD Mission, uh, <coughs> Mission Communications Foundation and the Family TV Mass. I uh, would like to thank uh, the following uh, who have uh, invited our uh, mission, uh, uh, <clears throat> our uh, SVD Mission Communications Foundation on the occasion of your, uh, the, um, 60th uh, anniversary. So, I would like to uh, now thank the following. Uh, the school director, Father Roland Aquino, SVD, over here. Thank you, uh, Father. The school principal, Father Yusef Ondong, SVD. Okay, right there. Um, Then, Father Ricardo Miranda, SVD, over here. Okay. Mm. And Father Paulino Bilamide, SVD. Okay, thank you. Father Felix Noel Dakel, SVD. Thank you. Mm. Father Roger Basse, SVD. Okay. <laughs> Father Antonio Wong, SVD. Father Chris Cordero, SVD. Mm -hmm. Um. <coughs> And uh, I would like to thank also this, uh, as a brother, were you included? As, uh, what's the name? Uh, it's, here, it's already mentioned. Okay. Uh -oh. Also, we'd like to thank uh, the following, uh, our commentator, uh, lectors, choir, family prayer, uh, uh, family prayer, uh, the students and faculty and parents, and all of you who have uh, grace 
uh, this uh, important uh, celebration of our Mass for the 60th anniversary of, of our um, Catholic, uh, St. Jude Catholic uh, School. Thank you, thank you very much, and God bless you all. <laughs> Please stand. Let us pray. Made partakers of Christ through these sacraments, we humbly implore your mercy, Lord, that conformed to his image on earth, we may merit also to be his co-heirs in heaven who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May I request on my fellow priests and brother administrators, SB administrators and Father Bell, to help me bless our school community as we begin and open our new school year in the celebration launching of our 60th anniversary. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. God, our loving Father, we entrust to you our school community, our students, parents, alumni, teachers, staff, and our all stakeholders who are involved in this mission in education. May you take care of us, Lord. Please take care of your mission. We are shepherds of this great mission to spread the good news of love and conversion. May we, Lord, be spared, be protected from any harm, from any evil. May you increase our faith in answer our prayers. May you, Lord, be the source of strength. And may we commit ourselves to your loving embrace to bless us all the days of our lives. We ask all this in the name of Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Let us now go in the love and peace of Jesus our Lord. Thanks be to God. The Family TV Mass was offered by Achievers Fuel and Service Center Corporation and La Puedrag Incorporated.